Hi, Dwayne Kerr here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a trick that me and a lot of my clients actually use before we start up a Google campaign. What we like to do is we like to see what else is actually going on in the market and do a search on what our potential client would actually, I mean, you do a search on the keywords that a potential client would actually would do. So what I've got here is I've got two text files. One of them says keywords and the other one says ads and literally that's what's going to be in both of them so let's click open the keywords one I've already put some keywords in there of what I think that um, a client in the market which I'm working in right now would actually um, search on and as you can see a keyword as simple as sell my house so as you guessed I'm in a property I'm in a property market um, Within this, we, we, you can see the keywords here. One of them has has phrase marks around it, and the other one has square brackets. What they what it, what I'm doing here is I'm covering three different types of searches, which will be um broad match, phrase match, and exact match. There is actually one more called negative match, and I'll show you how to do that one a little bit later as well. Now, what I'm going to do is t literally copy and paste this um keyword, and and I'm gonna, just going to paste it directly into Google to see exactly what competition there is out there or to see um and or to see what other people are doing that's the that's the that's the main reason now when i click hit search you can see it's quite competitive there's people on the this side here in the red section and then there's also quite a lot of people down the right hand side now what i'm going to do is i i what i need an ad i need to create an ad and you should actually do this before you start up a campaign so what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally just copy and paste all of these ads here and that's where my other text file comes in which says ads here so I'm just going to literally paste them there now I'm not just going to rip them off because um, it's going to look very silly and you can you're not really going to get any far if you don't really if you don't learn how to write ads and let's see if there's any more that I'll be interested in. I don't think so. Um, nothing here. I reckon I've got enough ads from what I've just from what I've just done. Oh, there's one of my clients. Um, <laughs> I can see he's testing something there. Um, actually makes me happy. I, I digress. Let me get back to what I'm doing. Um, now, as you can see, um. I've got the ads here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally take, for example, like a headline from a headline from one of them, not necessarily this one, and then probably a, a line from here, and then a line from there, and then still mix it up. The reason for doing that is that it's going to allow me to create my own unique ad, even at, from what is called a swipe file. So what I'd like you to do is do exactly as I've done: copy all the ads paste them into a text file and then from there create two ads yeah that's correct create two ads and then um, we can continue after you've done that